Hello subscribers, welcome back to an update on my next game review and Forteverse, my RPG. So my next game review is in the works and it's an old school RPG. I have never played this game before and it's quite a bit different than other games that I have played. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to work through this, but I don't think too many people have played it, but it is a very interesting one. I'll just leave it at that. And then, of course, it's a DOS game. So that's that for the game review. I am actually playing through it on my Patreon account if you want to see which one I'm going to be reviewing. That's where it's at. So now on to Forteverse. So lots of enhancements and changes. I have started to work in voice works for the characters, similar to how Wizardry 8 works. And I'm just going to go ahead and show some of that at first. So, so far I just have a typical human voice, which is kind of funny. It's my voice because I don't have anyone else right now to do it or to volunteer. I have an ogre and I have a halfling, a female halfling. So, when you click on the party member name, you're going to hear their voice. And it's based on your personality, your race, and things of that nature. And you'll be able to pick the voice that you want to use. But here's when I click on Daryl, the bounty hunter. Hi there. Okay, so he greeted me. And the other thing you're going to notice is I'm starting to integrate in profile graphics. And my mom is actually doing all the artwork unless I can find someone else to volunteer as well. But um, I'm actually trying to pay her because I don't think it's right for her to be doing all this work and not get anything out of it. She, of course, wants to volunteer her own time, but I still want to pay her for this. So basically what I'm going to try to do is pay her $25 per drawing. So if you guys want to contribute in some way, for the drawings of the game, what I'll do is I will mention your name every time I give an update. And even in the final product, you'll your name will be mentioned for the graphic that you actually contributed for. So, But don't feel obligated. I'm just saying that that would be nice so that I could give her some money uh, as I do these drawings. Because I'm not going to ask her to do any more unless... I actually have the money to give it to her and I'll be using my own personal money to do that as well. So anyway, enough of that. So um, you can see another enhancement is some of the text will appear bold if it's modified higher than or lower than what it normally should be for this given character. Or if it's different than what the base value is. For example, my sustenance, hydration, nutrition is lower than the max that it can be. These are bolded because they've been adjusted because of attributes like constitution, vitality, and different things of that nature. And I have all that integrated as well. So let me close that and let me do the next one. So here you're going to hear the voice for a halfling female. Hey, what's up? And each time they're going to have something a little bit different. I'm going to try to come up with multiple phrases per uh, voice so that it doesn't get repetitious. And, of course, you'll be able to turn that off if you don't want to hear all the voices and things of that nature. But let me go back in and see if she says something different. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm wondering if I only have one voice for her, for one phrase for that. Hey, what's up? Let me try mine again. Hi there. Hi there. Yeah. Hi there. And it, it doesn't appear to be randomizing Hi that. There. Okay, well, that's that's all right. I'll, you get the idea of what that's supposed to be. Now, here's the ogre. Hi. And what I've done is I've used... A special plugin for this program called Audacity to change voices and manipulate it. Hi. 
So I think that's pretty good for an ogre. It's pretty funny. Now, let me have him do something like drop an item. Well, let's have him take this oak bark that's on the ground. Okay. So he said, okay, and I don't know if you noticed, but watch underneath his name on the left over here. You're going to see a little symbol appear to say that, basically to demonstrate that he's talking, and I have the actual text that he says. So let me drop an item. Okay. He said, okay, and he dropped it on the ground. So now what we're going to do is have Lori, the halfling barbarian, pick it up. Okay. And she said, okay, and picked it up. And based on personality, they're going to say different things, of course. Um, some phrases are going to be things that they can't do. Hey, what's up? Let me have her drop one of her items that is too small for the ogre to equip. So, like, we'll have her drop her fur curus. Okay. And then we're going to have Bubba pick it up. Okay. And now he's going to try to equip it. And he should say something like, I can't do it or whatever. We'll see what he says. Me no do. Okay, so he said, me no do. You know, because he's an ogre, so, of course, his intelligence level isn't that high Me no do. so now we'll do the opposite we're going to have her, him drop one of his items that's too large for the halfling to wear so let's drop this uh boiled leather curris okay. and she'll pick it up okay and then she's going to try to equip it whoops wrong button i don't feel like it right now Okay, so she said, I don't feel like it right now. So she's kind of ornery, as you can see. I'll have you hear that again in case you missed it. I don't feel like it right now. But I've synchronized the sound and the text so that, you, just like in Wizardry 8, you'll see, since I don't have graphics to animate, like a face talking like it did in Wizardry 8, I've done the next best thing where I have it show next to the character a little conversation bubble and then the text which is kind of cool and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have my party members rest and only three of these party members will talk because the others are either races or vocations that i don't have voices for right now so i'm going to keep hitting rest and what you're going to witness is they'll just randomly say things like okay or whatever and it only happens sometimes, and I'll be adjusting the chance of the voices occurring so that it just doesn't happen all the time and it get annoying. Similar to Wizardry 8, you know, just every once in a while somebody would say something. They don't do it all the time. So here goes the resting. As you can see, everybody's resting right now. I'm just going to tell them to keep doing this over and over. Okay. So there you saw, I clicked five times before the ogre said okay. Okay. And it's, it's random who says what. Okay. So there the, the halfling just okay. said it. Now the other thing is, as you wander around and find items, your party members will say that they've found something. So let me drop another item so that we can see that. Let's drop these fur pants. Absolutely. And then I'm going to move and then walk back here. Finders keepers. Okay, so they just said something. And in fact, a bunch of them are saying things. It's going to be like how it is in Wizardry A where only one party member will say they found it. But right now I have all of them kind of saying it. Finders keepers. Finders keepers. What is this? See how that was working? So you get overall idea on how the different party members will kind of randomly say things as they, they stumble across something. So all that will be smoothed out. Let's see. What else can I show you? Um, I do have some more sound integrated as well, like the Myrmidon using their spiritual harness ability. Okay, so that failed, so it made no sound. Let me do it again until it actually executes and you're going to hear the sound. Mm -hmm. 
So that was an example of things that are going to happen as events fire, conditions happen. We're going to have the barbarian go berserk now. And this is kind of funny because now just picture a little halfling barbarian. And here's her voice when she goes berserk. <laughs> so it's like a little temper tantrum. And here you can see the berserk symbol there. Now if I look hey, at her what's up? At, at her stats, you can see now it's showing her strength, will, Speed, agility, confidence has all gone up. That's why these are bolded, because they're temporarily higher than what they would normally be. So the, the Berserk only lasts about a minute. Spiritual Harnessing, I think, lasts about five minutes. I'm not really 100% sure about that, but um, that's how that's working. You'll also notice that the green is physical health, and there's quite a variety here in my party members. So, you know, she has 51, Daryl has 100, the ogre has 648, this guy, Bruce, has 100, then over here only 62, and then 86. So, the same with stamina and mana and all that. So, I've worked in the attributes so it affects all your um, main stats. So, the other thing I want to try to do, let me see if I can get blinding dust to work. Doesn't look like that's working properly because it's showing null. Here we go. Let's just cast it on Lori and see if it'll work. Okay, so you could hear the sound effect there. Now, if she actually got blinded, then she would have said something because I have voices for various conditions. Let me see if I can actually have somebody get hurt so that you can hear the sounds of that. So I'm attacking Bubba the Ogre. Missed. That close. So there he just said that close because he, he dodged it, basically. So you'll have random things like that. Once again, similar to how Wizardry behaved. So that's probably all I need to show right now. We'll go ahead and cast the Bless Bell and see if that works. I need to see uh, why I'm showing all these extra nulls here. That That's a bug i got to work out. So let's click. So there, I cast Bless on Bubba, and you can see he's blessed now. So then when we go in here, you'll see he has some bonuses. Some of it's because of his Myrmidon spiritual harnessing, but others is because of the Bless spell. So I hope that that gives you a nice update on the progress of Forteverse. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. And I'll see you next time.